Hi, and welcome to another presentation from Your Business Tutor, learning your way, anytime, anywhere. Thus far, the implication has been that if a business gets its product, price, place and promotion right, that it has an incredibly good chance of achieving high sales. Whilst there is a lot of truth in this statement, it does ignore a crucial aspect in selling, and that is customer service. In that, in an ever more competitive marketplace, the experience a customer encounters when making a purchasing decision is becoming a crucial differentiator in the choice they make. So with that, let's introduce today's presentation on the extended marketing mix. Okay, so what are we going to learn in today's presentation? Well, first of all, we're going to find out what the extended marketing mix is, and then we're going to investigate the different elements of the extended marketing mix. Okay, let's get started by asking, what is the extended marketing mix? Put simply, the extended marketing mix can be summed up by the phrase, customer service experience. In other words, it is not just about what a customer purchases, but how it makes them feel. This is an important point as it stresses that purchasing an item is not a black and white transaction but an emotional choice as well, especially for products targeted at the luxury end of the market. What this shows therefore is that the traditional four P's of the market and mix may not be enough to convince customers to purchase. Other factors summed up by the term the extended marketing mix are equally important and must be provided effectively if a business is to be successful. So with that point made, let's turn to look at what the people element of the extended marketing mix is. The people element describes the staff that deliver an organization's customer service experience either in a shop over the phone or increasingly online. This element, as I am sure many of you will have experienced, is crucial to how an organisation is perceived by customers. In that, the way staff treat customers and the relationships they build with them are vital in convincing them to purchase and stay loyal. As such, many businesses put in place measures to ensure this element meets and exceeds the expectations of customers. For example, to ensure an organisation employs the best staff, it will put in place recruitment and selection procedures which will help it attract the best candidates with the right attitude to deliver great service. This is really important because if a business employs people who already believe in the concept of great service, it will be so much easier to implement measures that deliver high quality experiences because they will want to do it. This is why many organisations will put candidates through customer service role plays and personality tests to identify if they have the characteristics required to deliver excellent service. However, as important as employing the right staff is, if an organisation wants to excel in this area, more must be done. For example, ongoing staff training that focuses on customer service is vital, in that staff need to be confident in dealing with all different types of customer and the range of scenarios they may find themselves in. This is so important as it only takes one negative interaction to switch a customer off a business and convince them to shop elsewhere. As such, when training staff, a business will focus on a number of different areas from how customers are approached and spoken to in store all the way through to telephone conversations and how angry clients are dealt with professionally. Nevertheless, although good training is useful for helping staff deal with a wide range of customers, great businesses realise that creating long-term relationships with important clients is vital to building loyalty. This is why many organisations will appoint a certain member of staff or a team of people to deal with important and valuable customers so that every time they contact the business, they know who they are talking to and are treated to a very high level by someone they recognise. More than that though, 
And this is at the centre of creating a strong people element. Organisations that want to get this right foster a culture of customer service. This measure is vital because it puts customers at the centre of everything a business does, meaning staff know that every action and decision they take must support improved service. However, as important as the measures we have discussed so far are, it is also crucial to realise that they will only be effective if they actually happen. As such, many organisations will put in place procedures to check that the people element is being carried out effectively. For example, mystery shoppers are often used to check staff's product knowledge, friendliness and helpfulness, as well as how they deal with complaints. OK, let's now turn to the second part of the extending marketing mix by asking, what is the process element? The process element describes the systems and procedures an organisation puts in place to help it deliver an effective customer service experience. For example, many organisations set up customer support helplines to deal with any issues and complaints that arise. This can be really useful because if a customer knows that any problems will be dealt with quickly and fairly, it builds trust in a brand and gives them confidence to purchase. However, many organisations have gone further in this area and have put in place training sessions for customers, either in-store or online, showing how a product they sell can be used effectively. This can be really beneficial as demonstrating a product in this way gives people who are unsure about buying or who are comparing products with a competitor the confidence to purchase. Another measure businesses use to improve the process element is to put in place procedures that make the shopping experience more convenient. For example, this could be as simple as offering extended opening hours so people can shop after work, all the way through to streaming online shopping processes. In fact, online shopping has been an area where many businesses have made major strides by allowing customers to store items in a shopping basket, order with one click, as well as automatically inputting a customer's delivery details when an order is made. As can be seen, the process element can have a major influence on the level of service a customer receives. This is why even simple things such as putting extra staff on tills when queues build up or offering free next day delivery are so important as when all these things are added together, a seamless and smooth customer service experience is created. However, and this is a crucial final point, a business cannot stand still when it comes to the process element, as advances in technology provide numerous opportunities for a business to improve their level of service. For example, the frequently asked questions section on a website has evolved into live chat and is now transforming into live video calls, which has helped organisations provide a more tailored and personal service. And equally, the way man tills in supermarkets have evolved into self-service tills and now scan and go has resulted in a more efficient service being provided where customers can get through the checkouts quicker and track their spending as they shop. OK, let's now move on to the final part of the extended marketing mix by asking what is the physical evidence element? The physical evidence element describes the aspects of the customer service experience that can be seen and touched. In other words, they are the observable features that a customer notices when in a shop or on a business's website. For example, many organisations will spend a considerable amount of time designing the way their stores will look so that they convey a certain image or create a wow factor in order that customers are enticed to enter and purchase. As such, the frontage of the shop, lighting, the way products are displayed and the quality of the in-store fixtures and fittings are issues a business will consider when deciding on the physical evidence element. 
However, many businesses will go even further than this and consider the needs of all their customers by offering disabled facilities such as ramp access, lifts and toilets, as well as a kids play area for parents shopping with young children. All these features help to create a better shopping experience which encourages more customers to spend additional time shopping with the business. And of course, physical evidence also relates to other issues such as the way that staff look in terms of their appearance. For example, if staff wear a uniform and are well presented, it gives an organisation a professional feel which builds trust with customers and gives them confidence to purchase. Moreover, offering things like car parking facilities makes it more convenient for customers to visit a store and spend their money. Whereas waiting room facilities with tea and coffee create a more relaxed and friendly atmosphere if a customer has to wait to see a manager. However, as with the people and process elements, it is important that a business continues to adapt its physical evidence offering. For example, many businesses have created an app in addition to their website as a way of selling their products online, as customers often prefer shopping this way as it is more convenient. But equally, many organisations now display multiple images and video footage of a product on their website when previously only a single image was shown. This of course gives a customer more information to help them with their purchasing decision but also should result in fewer returns as customers know exactly what they are buying. Ok so what did we learn in this presentation? Well first of all we found out what the extending market mix is and then we went on to investigate the different elements of the extended marketing mix. The extended marketing mix is becoming increasingly important in business. Especially given the dominance and growth of the tertiary sector in developed economies. This is because in this sector, superior service, which the extending market mix is all about, plays a crucial role in convincing a customer to purchase.